Hi guys, welcome to another episode of Peter's Kitchen Corner. On today's episode, I'm doing ribs in a slow cooker. And part of the show, I'll show you how to remove the membrane from the back of the ribs before they go in. And it's uh, my own sort of homemade uh, mixture that will go over, over the ribs and we'll let them cook for about six to eight hours. Okay. Of course we need ribs, uh, a little bit of mustard. I have my garlic that I like to use. Uh, barbecue sauce will be any barbecue sauce that you like to use and we'll quickly put it together and put it in a crock pot. So I'll start off with about half a cup of barbecue sauce. About one heaping tablespoon of mustard. Half a teaspoon of garlic and I'm looking at to have about uh, three quarter three quarter cup of mixture because the ribs will have some liquid in them and that's more than enough I washed my sink with dish soap and I've dumped about half a kettle of boiling water to make sure that it's disinfected in here I'm gonna open up my ribs and I've also prepared these square pieces of uh, paper towel and you'll see how they'll come in and to use uh, later. If you're gonna help it with a knife like I am, make sure you're walking away from you. And this is why you want to prepare your pieces of paper towel prior, obviously as you work. There it is. Yeah, that's been taken off. <clears throat> I'll put that to the side of the sink. Same thing we'll try here. Sometimes you just have to help it to get going. There it is. And the other thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take it every second rib and I'm going to cut it, <coughs> cut them into two, two rib pieces. And I have my, uh, I have my crock pot here. And I'll just put them in here instead of putting them into a, a secondary dish. So we have our ribs, our sauce, and I've cut up an extra onion because my first onion wasn't that good. So all I'm gonna do is just pour the sauce over the ribs. We're gonna get out as much as we can. So there you go guys, it's your that's simple, it's just your favorite barbecue sauce, one teaspoon or two teaspoons of mustard, depending how strong that you like your mustard, a little bit of garlic and of course some onions on top and mix them up and off they go. I put them in for six and a half hours. Uh, I'm not sure if I'm gonna be here when my family starts eating because I got a phone call, I gotta run off. In the meantime, I'll show you how they turn out when I'm back. Until then, see you later. Remember how I put in 
about three quarter cup of uh, sauce into the into the ribs. They're pretty much submerged, of course, except for the top part. But you can see that uh, they're cooking real well. Hi guys, we're back. It's about five o'clock in the afternoon. It's a beautiful day here today. The windows are wide open, you can hear the cars going by the house, the kids playing on the driveway. Anyways, the ribs are done. Here they are, I pulled one out, uh, one piece out to show you how it turns out and you can see the how it's falling apart, the meat's coming off the bone. They've been cooking for about six and a half hours. And I'm, I'm very happy how they turn out. Give this a try. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. Like anything on my show, we shall eat it. I shall eat it. Till next time, have a great day. Boys. I like the rib. Do you like the ribs, Evan? Yeah. Lucas, do you like the ribs too? Mm-hmm.